Hi everyone, today I am going to teach you ordinary differential equation, particularly on second order differential equation. Okay, we're going to look at um, how to solve a second order differential equation. So these are some of the um, topics, subtopics that you're going to learn. So we're going to look at the review first for the first order. And then the second order differential equation, homogeneous equation, how to solve an homogeneous equation, non-homogeneous equation, and that's it, okay? So let's look at first order differential equation. The first order differential equation for a single scalar function is given as this. So this is my first order. Okay, I can write this as a1 y prime plus a0 y equals to g x. See, the, the derivative here decreases as your coefficient a decreases. Okay, where g x here is a given function for the initial condition y equals to y x naught equals to y naught. Okay, so an initial value problem. Okay, what is initial value problem? An initial value problem is a problem that satisfies both ODE and conditions. So, for example, I can have a condition y prime plus y equals to zero. These are my initial condition. Okay, this is my initial condition. This is my first order differential equation. So if you have a problem plus initial condition, so what do you have? You have initial value problem. Okay. Okay, so move on now. A first order differential equation, we want to look at more on um how to solve the first order differential equation. So we have learned some analytical method to solve um first order differential equations such as separable variable, integrating technique, exact equation. Now how about higher order differential equation? How do you solve them? Okay, so in this chapter, we're going to look at characteristic equation for homogeneous second order differential equation and undetermining coefficient. Okay, we might look at that, but it depends on the time that we have. Okay, so the main thing is we have characteristic equation, homogeneous for se homogeneous second order differential equation and undetermining coefficient. And also, we have non-homogeneous second-order differential equation. Okay, what is higher-order differential equation? So, look at higher-order differential equation. A and X, D derivative um, N, Y over DX derivative N. So, see the N will decrease as the constant decreases. So, subject to this given condition. So, I can have... Um, a3 D derivative y the third derivative plus my coefficient here will decreases and so does my derivative here okay and then plus a1 dy dx plus a naught y equals to gx so this is my third order i mean i will say third order differential equation differential equation okay so we will look at whether the solution exists or not so if let's say the constant that we have here a n a n minus one a one and a naught be continuous on an interval i and provided that this coefficient the highest 
we have for the n value not equals to 0 for every x in the interval then with x equals to x naught is any point in the interval then the solution yx of the initial value problem exists on the interval and is unique okay so in the case of a second order initial value problem a solution curve must pass through the point x naught y naught and have a slope y1 at this point let's look at what it means by looking at the example determine whether the initial value problem given below has a unique solution does it have a unique solution okay so what we do we look at the um, theorem again the theorem say that a n a n m n one must be continuous that's the first point we have to find whether it's unique and then a n x not equals to zero okay so what is a n x is the uh, interval here so this is my this is my a n x which is a 3 a 2 this is 1 here for a 1 7 here for a naught Okay, by looking at this, so we can say that my 3 not equals to 0, which is my a3 is equals to 3, and then not equal to 0. Okay, and for all the solution here, so for all the solution here, if x is the initial condition, is any point in the interval, then the solution yx of the initial value problem exists. Okay, so we can see that for this solution here given here, when y is 1, x is 0, when y prime 1 equals to 0, y double prime 1, so for my x value here, so my x equals to x naught, which is equals to, this is my x naught. These are my x naught. These are my x naught equals to one. Okay. So it means then, if x equals to one is at any point in the interval, then the solution y x exists and is unique. So at any point in the interval, the solution x naught must be exist. So therefore, we say this is the unique solution of an IVP okay let's move on for each IVP below find the largest interval on which the unique solution guarantee to exist okay we want to look at the largest interval okay first what we need to do here we need to um, arrange this into the standard formula so this is second this is order uh, second derivative here so we need to write this in the standard form so the standard form for second um, derivative is given by y double prime plus px y prime plus qx y equals to gx okay writing this Meaning, I need to divide everything by x plus 2. So, I have y double prime plus x over x plus 2 y prime plus got x over x plus 2 y equals to x squared over x plus 2. Okay, now we have written this in this form. Now, the other thing we can look at, for the solution to be exist or unique, the coefficient here, in this case, my a2, my a2 coefficient here, equals to 1, which is not equals to 0. So, we know that the solution is unique. And the other thing we can look at, look at the x. So this is my x naught. x equals to x naught, which is equals to 2. Okay, so what happened here? 2, for the x value here, the solution gx exists. 
okay so the solution and the other thing we're going to check is largest interval i'm going to find the largest interval so we know that these continuities occurs at x equals to 2 uh, sorry x equals to negative 2 okay x equals to negative 2 Because when x is negative 2, then you have, you cannot divide. Okay, the whole thing will be 0. Okay, and then we know that these continuities also happen when x equals to 0. Okay, for cot. Okay, cot is 1 over tangent. So let me just write it cot. x equals to 1 over tangent x okay so we gotta find all the solution that tangent x not exist such as 0 plus minus pi okay we have plus minus pi plus minus 2 pi and so on okay these are the values that we cannot use okay and we know that um if x is minus 2 we cannot um, get the solution so the largest interval that we can consider for x cannot be x cannot be in this value but then we see that when x is 0 pi x is 0 pi the largest interval will be when x equals to 0 so the largest interval is 0 pi. So in this interval, so I'm not including 0, okay, and including pi. So I'm just thinking about in this interval, we will find uh, a solution, unique solution guaranteed to exist. Okay, so let's move on. You verify that y x equals to 3 to the exponent 2x plus e to x is a solution to the initial value problem. Okay, so for this question here, first we know that the solution exists and unique because our a naught is not equals a2 is not equal to 0. Okay, so we have um, y x equals to 3 e 2 x plus e negative x minus 3 x okay we need to find our y prime x so i have 6 e 2 x minus e negative x minus 3 in y double prime x i have 12 e 2 x plus e negative x okay so put into this solution here y double prime so i have 12 e to x plus e negative x minus 4 minus 4 y y is this one 3 e to x plus e negative x minus 3 x i'm going to be equal to 12 x so negative 12 x bring it on the other side Okay, so we can see that this and this cancels out. This and this cancels out to negative 4 times negative 3. So we have 12x. So we know that this is the solution to the initial value problem. Okay, I think um, that's going to be the first part. Uh, you can also check this one has no unique solution. Okay, so y, so we can see that here, y double prime minus 2xy prime over x squared plus 2x over x2 equals to 6 over x2. So, it has no unique solution because of x here. So, this is my x. x not equals to x which is 0. So when x is 0, so what happened? The solution does not exist, so 0. 
Okay, so that's all for today. We'll be looking to the next part in my next video. Thank you.